In this video, I am going to go over some of the benefits and downsides of having a lean-to greenhouse instead of a freestanding greenhouse and explain to you some of the reasons why I chose the lean-to greenhouse instead of a freestanding one. So the first thing I love about having my greenhouse against the wall of my house is easy access to plumbing. A few years ago, I got a plumber to tap into my laundry room's hot and cold water pipes on the other side of this wall. And so, now I have running hot and cold water here in my sink. It's really handy to wash hands and tools. And especially in winter, washing with warm water is so much better. So the other advantage of having the lean-to greenhouse is that there's less material needed. After all, you basically eliminate one wall. And it helps to have a white wall to bounce light back into the greenhouse, especially during our cloudy winters we have. And the north wall is shared with my garden shed, which is under my deck. Another great feature of a lean-to greenhouse is these windows. I'm actually able to have a quick look into the greenhouse to see if all is okay without actually having to go into it. So here's my bathroom window, which uh, gives me a bit of a view out through the screen, my new lemon tree, water barrel. And then in the laundry room, uh, I'm actually able to check to see, for instance, if I've left the door open. And I can go out and close it. Now, I haven't tried actually crawling through the windows to access the greenhouse. I also have good access to electricity as my garden shed attached to my greenhouse is wired from my house. For now, I've just strung this extension cord, but eventually I want to actually run some conduit and put in some outdoor weatherproof outlets. I need power for such things as my heat mats, grow lights, and shop vacuum cleaner that I use to clean up debris and such. And the final benefit is that I've left the rest of my backyard open for my raised beds and fruit trees and also some flower beds. So the greenhouse is out of the way, but still accessible. In a tiny suburban backyard, you need to maximize space. A freestanding greenhouse would not only take up space, but would also shade other parts of your garden. Speaking of shade though, there is one downside. In the afternoon, I get full sun exposure, but in the morning, the greenhouse is in shade because the greenhouse faces west. So while in summer I do get the benefit of some heat, it takes a while for the sun to come all the way around to get full sun exposure. A better location would have been on the south side, but this space is limited and my neighbor's house is blocking most of the mid-morning sun. So not the ideal spot. I'm also limited in size. When I rebuilt the greenhouse a few years ago, I put it in the spot of the original greenhouse but I did extend the depth of it by a bit. You can see the old foundation wall here still. I couldn't make it too much bigger as that would have eliminated this walk. In hindsight, maybe I should have made it at least even with my deck, but then we'd have had to eliminate that walk. Ventilation is key, especially with a lean-to greenhouse. Using fans and automatic vent openers will keep the humidity in your lean-to greenhouse low so it doesn't affect your house. So as you can see, there are benefits but also some downsides to lean-to greenhouses in comparison with freestanding greenhouses. Will I one day build a freestanding greenhouse? Maybe. I really could use the space and the additional sun exposure that would give me. So we'll see, maybe in this spot right here and have to sacrifice some of the flowers. So thank you for watching. I hope this information has given you some tips on how to choose between a lean-to and a freestanding greenhouse. If you have any questions, pop them into the comments down below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.